Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to clean your sticky buttons on your PlayStation 5 controller. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So you can see my controller is quite dirty and some of my buttons are sticking a little bit. Now, I'm going to go and show you how to clean your controller and fix your sticky buttons. Now, in this video, I'm going to be using just some rubbing alcohol, just like this. Then, a cloth with some soap and water on it. A toothpick. And a Q-tip. So first, I'm going to take my washcloth, just like this. And then, wash off the controller and removing any kind of fingerprints or debris that's on it just quickly and then flipping over my controller and cleaning off where you can see all the dirt and grime and dead skin on the back here now this may not lift up everything but we'll have to come through another time with the q-tip and just get a little bit deeper scrub and another spot you'll see a bunch of like dead skin is located right here in this crack along this line. Then along the touchpad here. Then also on your thumbsticks. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. Now I have a little bit of rubbing alcohol in this cap. I'm going to dip my Q-tip in it and soak up some of the rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to go along every crack and crevice and around these buttons right here. And you could get quite a bit of rubbing alcohol in these buttons and not have it affect the use of the controller. So you don't have to be very gentle or light with it. And then just go along the outside of it just like this. And try to soak it in the sides of the button. And go around each button like this. And then take your toothpick. And then go along the outsides of this as well. And just try to get any kind of debris that's stuck in there. Now I don't see too much dead skin coming up from these buttons. Usually it's just on this side. Test out your buttons. See if you still need to go ahead and clean it more. And then just go around a second time. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the sides of this. Just because I know that's where it's really bad. So let's go ahead and just take my rubbing alcohol and my Q-tip and go along this edge and just work it in. All right, that looks like a good layer of rubbing alcohol. Let's take my toothpick and just rub inside here. Okay, that's looking good. Let's repeat it on the other side now. Oh, this side has a lot of dead skin, as you can see. Isn't that disgusting? Gross. That's all dead skin right there. Yummy. So let's wipe this off. And then also, let's go in between my R1, my L2, my L1, and just rub off the triggers. And these don't actually look too bad. And there's not too many gaps in here where the dead skin will just sit. And then we have the touchpad. Now I really don't use the touchpad a whole lot on this controller except to maybe check the scoreboard. So let's just go ahead and rub this down. The speaker, the microphone. And I have these cool thumbsticks on here that I'm going to go ahead and just rub down real quick. Get a good layer on here. This is usually where I find a lot of dead skin that just accumulates on these. And it's nice having control freaks on your controller because then you're not wearing down your actual thumbsticks. Then you could go along this entire edge right here. I think I just took off this face plate, so I'm not going to find a whole lot of dead skin. This goes along your entire touchpad area right here. So. That's a lot of area that dead skin could accumulate. I mean, there's a little bit in there still. Oh, nasty. Got some. 
Now, a good area to clean thoroughly is your thumbsticks or just this little area underneath them. Let's say you are having a little bit of stick drift and you have a bunch of like food or crumbs or dead skin that's falling into the little sides here. We'll just go along the edges here and clean this off very thoroughly. Now, there could also be like some plastic or something else that falls inside here and that's causing a little bit of stick drift. And then just clean up any debris that's stuck in there and repeat the process for the other side here as well. And just make sure you see a bunch of shiny black material. If there's any kind of fragments in there, you definitely want to remove that. Otherwise, you may have issues at some point in time. And another cool thing you can do is remove the face cover here. If you grab right here just with your fingernail, you can lift up this entire section. And I do have my thumbsticks on there, so I'm going to have to take those off. And this may make it a little bit easier cleaning up the dead skin. Now, I'm just able to do this with my fingernail. Maybe you have like uh, this toothpick that can just create a little bit of separation and you can lift this off. But if there's any kind of dead skin in here on these sides, it'll make it a lot easier to clean. Also the audio jack, maybe there's some dead skin in there and that's not working. Just go ahead and clean that off. Now to get this face cover back on, just simply put the two edges in the holes right there and come down and it should snap on just like that. Now I do have an aim controller which you know puts back buttons on my controller. So I'm going to clean around here and I'm going to clean off these. And I recently got a new back button paddle on my other controller. And I got off Amazon for like 40 bucks and those will work very good. And those are called Extreme Rate. So I'm going to go up and down here with my rubbing alcohol. You can see that dead skin, dirt and debris is coming off quite well with this rubbing alcohol. And the soap and water barely even touched that. So that's coming off. Yeah, I don't even see that that much. You can see a slight shadow along this entire edge. At least having the white controller makes it a little bit easier to clean because you can see where everything is. So let's go on this side now. Move up and down here. Okay, this is looking good. Now the only area I would really say to watch out for is the microphone and the speaker here. If you're going to be putting a lot of rubbing alcohol on that, it may drip inside your controller. So just watch out for those areas. And here's the back. Now I'm just going to go along everything with my soap and water on my little dish rag here and just wipe everything down and then let my controller dry a little bit and it should be good to go. And I can already tell it's looking a lot better after taking off the dead skin along the edges and then on the back here near my triggers. So. This video did indeed help you guys out. Go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.